Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm the Hydrogen Man. Guys, you know, before I begin, I'm not going to give you any medical advice. I'm not making any medical claims and I'm not making any claims for or against any product or products. Today, I'm going to do a review on the HLTH machine. Why? Because a lot of people have been asking about it. And I'm going to do a comparison to basically the best machine in the world. So you guys will see the differences because I've literally studied everything about hydrogen production and nobody in America seems to really understand any of this. And I'm going to give you the best information literally from Japan. And I also want everybody to know if you're going to spend money on a hydrogen machine, you're definitely going to want to watch this video because it's going to save you a ton of heartache in my opinion. So first things first. You can see they want $7,000 for this machine. There's a lot of things that I actually do not like about this machine. The first one is that it's sealed in a box. I don't like closed systems. There's been a lot of issues with closed systems. In Japan, they've known about closed systems. That's why when they designed the best machine in the world, they made it an open system. Why do I not like closed systems? Because one, if you were to start growing mold in it, you would never know. If you were to get a damaged membrane in it, you would never know. And God knows why you couldn't be inhaling if those type of things happen in time. But what's the biggest issue with these? Well, the biggest issue is I'm not really fond of the membrane they're using and I'm not fond of the metal technology that they're using and it really doesn't make the best hydrogen water at all, in my opinion. So these are actually very cheap. The truth is that people don't know that all the machines out there that are basically being sold can be found very cheap on Alibaba. They're all Chinese machines. So if I were to show you the same exact machine, look at this. Instead of $7,000, maybe $700. Does it look the same to you? Well, clearly it's going to look the same because these are the same machines. Now, if you take one of these, now this one claims 900 milliliters per minute is what it's claiming. In my personal opinion, these numbers are starting to get ridiculous and outrageous. Why? Because I don't actually personally think that they're accurate. And if they are accurate, in my opinion, again, based on all this research that I've been doing on hydrogen production, I don't think a machine could really sustain those high levels of making hydrogen. Why? Because I want you to understand that you have to run a massive amount of electricity in order to produce those high levels of hydrogen. And when you're using cheap metals and membranes, what do you think is going to happen? They start falling apart and then you don't even know that the machines aren't really making hydrogen anymore or that they're making very low levels. So let me show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. Notice that when you read about it, they do not want to tell you the metal that they're using. This is an immediate red flag. Ever since I've been trying to educate on hydrogen, people are trying to hide the metal. And basically what everybody's using is plated or coated metals. Even if they tell you, oh, we're using platinum, we're using titanium, but they don't tell you if it's coated or plated. And the best machine in the world doesn't use coated or plated. But I'll show you the other concern that I have because they would try to hide this too. But I looked everywhere because I know what they use. All these companies are primarily using, or at least the majority of them, are using DuPont membranes. And what do we got here? DuPont film basically membrane guys i do not like dupont membranes this is a very big chemical company i don't like the quality of the stuff that they make the japanese had to actually make their own because they wanted to make the best in the world and so i'm just not a fan i'm just not a fan of this machine a lot of people are also so hyper focused on the oxygen do not focus on the oxygen guys you're already breathing 20 to 21 percent oxygen all the research is based on pure molecular hydrogen and then that will enhance the oxygen that you're already breathing in, in my opinion. That's how my protocols work. Let's show you the best machine in the world so you can see the difference. This is an open system. So you can see everything that's going on in the picture. You can literally see the membrane. You can see the metal. They do not use coated or plated metals. They do not use DuPont membranes, which are also what's called a single layer membrane. The Japanese have made their own fibrous multi-layered membrane that is way better than anything that exists out there at this time. This is number one for a reason, and it ain't Chinese, guys. This is the number one in Japan, and it makes super good water, and you always want to start hydrogen with water. Just like nature makes hydrogen water at Lourdes, France, which is this machine is literally named after Lourdes, France. And it does the hydrogen inhalation. Now, don't be duped by these huge, ridiculous numbers like 900 milliliters per minute. Because what is actually being used medically in Japan? 130 milliliters per minute is the amount that professionals use in university hospitals. What happens is all these people are claiming these outrageous numbers. And I really don't believe them. And even if they made those high levels, again, I don't think the machines can actually maintain it because I've already seen it with other machines that have been lab tested. And on top of not being able to make these numbers for a long amount of time, the reason that the Japanese never made machines with crazy high numbers is because I found out that the engineering doesn't basically work, which what ends up happening is... One, if you did it, you create more impurities. And the Japanese basically said, why would we want to create more impurities? We can get enough hydrogen and the correct amount with 130. And what does this make? 
their claim number is like 120 something, but I saw some lab tests because this is also the most lab tested scrutinized machine in the world. And it keeps continuously showing, or it appears to be showing uh, 130 milliliters or a little bit more, which is exactly the medical numbers. When this was designed, that's exactly what they went for. So basically the, the biggest purity they is, for me, in order to do my protocols and get the results, it's all about purity, guys. And you can see all the certifications and how it really is the number one in Japan, actually all engineered in Japan, all lab tested in Japan. Um, every single machine is actually lab tested and certified. No machine in the world does that because they found out through extensive research that every machine when it's built, no matter how good you build it, the amount of hydrogen it's gonna make will not be exactly the way that it should be. And so that's why they lab test every single one. And if it doesn't pass their uh, scrutiny, then they end up not even selling them. Most advanced technology for pure hydrogen literally in the world, guys. This machine actually uses very low amounts of electricity so that that way it won't damage their super amazing, powerful, strong, pure metal and membrane. And that really helps for long-term production. In fact, they tested the machine, I believe it was after like five or seven years of usage, only to realize that it was still making well over 90% of the hydrogen made new. I believe the number was somewhere in the neighborhood of like 97% or something like that, which no machine can do that from everything that I've learned. It appears that no machine can do that. Uh, because they just start falling apart internally and you just don't know. That's why when you see these crazy big numbers like 900 milliliters, you really want to be questioning somebody's knowledge and whether that machine has actually been correctly lab tested, which is another issue in the United States. So I just wanted to share this information with you guys. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, comment below, share it, and I'll see you guys next time on the next one.